And Beth, let's get you into the conversation here. Your character, Helen, did you meet anyone who actually knew her? Or were you able to talk with them? I met her. You did? She's still alive. Yeah, I met her in Israel. Um, I knew she was alive before I did the movie, and I kind of wanted to meet her before I did it. But then, in a way, I got hold of the transcript, which Ray was talking about as well, and I read a lot, and I spoke to a lot of people about her. And I feel as if I got the facts and created the character, and the cherry on top at the end was actually to meet her in the flesh. Tiny, frail little woman, feisty old dame, still actually, she's very <laughs> strong. But, um, yeah, I actually met her. And she has seen your performance? Of Not yet, no, no. She met me for the first time and said, oh, you're so tall because she's so little, um, that she hadn't seen the film. Before. What did you want to ask her? It's amazing. There were so many things at the time. I wanted to know um, the gory details. I wanted to know more. I wanted to hear the personal account. And then when I was in front of her, I really couldn't ask her anything. I tried, and I realized I was probing into something that really I didn't have any right to. I know what she went through, and I read the transcripts, and I read about the trial, and there was no need to put her through that, because I could see if she was willing to talk, and if she wanted to, it would have been a different thing. It wasn't that she was unwilling, she was just reticent, and so I left it. The only thing I did want to know was, did her sister survive the war? Because in the book and in the transcripts, it was something that she was very caught up in during the war, more than her own survival, really, was that her sister survived, and she said, yes, indeed, that she had. So that answered something that I needed to know, and I left it at that. For you, here we are, two women. The things those women, the indignities, not to mention the physical abuse, was almost more than I could take. For you, what was the worst thing that you had to portray as Helen? I'd really say that there were a few, but one of them that I'd single out would be the scene that I had with Ray when he comes down to the basement and she's standing there washing herself and he intrudes into the small corner where she hides away and where she lives. And it's not the beating, it's not the physical pain, it's his speech leading up to that, which is that you are not a person. You are not a human being. You are less than human. Um, and that even in that, her physicality, her sexuality, the fact that she's a woman is the thing that torments him and drives him even into the further fury that he has where he beats her. And I don't know how you feel about this, but my feeling and it was a lot of the time that the beating was the consummation of the sexual things he had for her, which he couldn't carry out because she was Jewish. So it's a double thing, it's a double-edged sword in a way. Her, perhaps her attractiveness as a woman is the thing that saved her, but it's the very thing that forced her to be degraded every day. It's very difficult, it was very difficult to imagine that and to in fact be in that situation, even in the acting of it. 